Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on You are the salt of the earth. In Matthew 5.13, we read Jesus Christ calling his disciples as the salt of the earth. In those times, salt was used for seasoning, as preservative, as disinfectant, as a component of ceremonial offerings and as a unit of exchange. Salt had two main purposes then. One was to preserve materials and another was to add flavor to food. By calling his followers as salt, Jesus made the point that his followers are preservatives in the world that is facing moral and spiritual decay. He meant that his followers would be ones who enhance the flavor of life in this world. As followers of Christ, we are expected to influence the world for good, like the salt that adds flavor to the food it seasons. In the phrase, you are the salt of the earth, you refers to everyone who made a conscious decision to follow Jesus in this world. And R refers to the being, the internal character of the follower of Christ. The followers of Christ are different from others by their character, lifestyle and behavior. By calling his followers as salt, Jesus was highlighting their usefulness and their role in purifying the morally decaying world. Jesus conveyed the importance of his disciples to others in the world. Jesus meant the impact his followers can make in the world. He calls his followers for a holy and righteous life in the world. The phrase, you are the salt of the earth, refers to two possible divisions, the salt and the world. We are either the salt or the world. We can either be the disciple of Jesus or the world. In Matthew 5.13, we are also told that if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. This verse carries the information that as salt can lose its saltiness, so we, his followers can lose our purpose and a warning to us to take care of our position and responsibility in the world. If we lose our inherent character, we are good for nothing. By failing in our purpose to fight deterioration, we become useless in the body of Christ. In Luke 14, 34 and 35, we read that when salt loses its taste, it is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile, but it is thrown out. When we live careless lives, tainted by sin and the world, we become absolutely useless to the Lord as his witness in this world. Salt makes an impact. We can be one who is perishing or the one who preserves others from perishing. By being called as salt, we are reminded about our responsibility to influence the world in godly way. God has kept us in a specific place with a purpose. 
it is important that we understand the purpose and fulfills it salt enhances flavor salt changes everything it touches we deny the salt function when we fail to mingle with people that are lost and make efforts to bring them to christ we deny the function of the salt when we fail to be kind merciful and a peacemaker jesus did not say you might be the salt of the earth rather he said you are the salt someone has said if you are not affecting the world the world is affecting us it is essential to introspect ourselves and amend our ways so that our calling and our standing in christ will not become waste let us pray father thank you for choosing us to be the salt of the earth enable us to understand our calling and responsibility making efforts to be salt to the people around us in jesus name we pray amen thank you for listening god bless you